The Bible labels Jesus Christ as the Son of God. The original manuscripts that formed the Bible were not in English. They were mainly in Koine Greek. When translating from one language to another, conveying the whole or exact meaning is not easy without adding or subtracting something. The term Son of God has a different connotation when translated from Aramaic to Greek to English. The term Son of God did not mean it literally. In ancient Hebrew, the term was used to refer to a godly person, a righteous person. It was customary to call any prophet of God or a righteous man a son of God. The term son of God was not meant to be taken literally as Christians have. Never did Jesus Christ claim in the Gospels to be the son of God in the physical sense. Other prophets of God and individuals in the Bible are referred to as sons of God, such as orphans, judges, jurists, the Israelites, the prophet Adam, David, Solomon, and Jacob. It was a common saying among the children of Israel to refer to a righteous person as the Son of God. Prophet David, peace be upon him, is referred to as the Son of God in, I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said unto me, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Psalm 2, verse 7. The children of Israel are referred to as the sons of God in Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, was labeled as a son of God in Luke chapter 3, verse 38, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Exodus chapter 4, verse 22, quotes God calling Israel his son. Then say unto Pharaoh, This is what the Lord says, Israel is my firstborn son. Exodus chapter 4, verse 22. Jesus Christ calls the peacemakers children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Matthew chapter 5, verse 9. Why don't Christians apply the same concept to those individuals in the Bible who were referred to as sons of God? If Christians are going to use the Bible's labeling of Jesus Christ as the Son of God as proof that he is the Son of God, it would mean that the prophet Israel is of a higher status than Jesus Christ because he was the firstborn, which generally would be more respected than a younger brother.